what your skin says about your health. What you see on the outside may reflect what's going wrong on the inside. I'm not just talking about the occasional pimple or sunburn. In this video, I'll tell you seven things your skin says about your health, and some of them might really surprise you. Whether it's your thyroid, liver, hormones, or even your digestive system, your skin is constantly communicating with you. The key is learning how to read those signs. Remember, while this video offers valuable insights, always consult a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis. Now, let's get started. 1. Skin Tags You might think skin tags are just a harmless part of aging, something that pops up as we grow older, but in many cases they're your body's way of waving a little red flag. These soft, tiny growths often show up on the neck, underarms, eyelids or groin. The primary reason for skin tags is insulin resistance. That's when your body starts struggling to respond properly to insulin, the hormone that helps manage blood sugar. When your cells don't respond well, your pancreas produces even more insulin to try and keep things under control. This hormone surge doesn't just affect your blood, it also stimulates the growth of skin cells in certain areas, especially where skin rubs together. Over time, this may cause tiny growths, skin tags, to form. The real concern here isn't the tag itself, but the possibility that your body is on the road toward type 2 diabetes. If you're seeing skin tags and you also notice weight gain around your belly, fatigue after meals, or constant sugar cravings, it might be time to look a little deeper. Moreover, an imbalance in hormones, especially estrogen and progesterone, may also cause skin tags to show up. This is more common during pregnancy, in people with polycystic ovary syndrome, or in those taking hormone-based medications. These hormones may increase cell turnover in the skin, especially in areas of friction, and may lead to overgrowths like skin tags. But again, the tags are just the tip of the iceberg. The real story is what's causing your hormones to shift in the first place. If left unchecked, chronic hormonal imbalances may affect metabolism, reproductive health, and even mood stability. According to PubMed, a cross-sectional study at a university teaching hospital found that adults with more than five skin tags on the neck or underarms were significantly more likely to have insulin resistance. Now, how do you protect your health when you notice skin tags forming? Keep an eye on your waistline, as abdominal fat is closely tied to insulin resistance. Make daily movement a habit, cut back on added sugars, and aim for meals that balance protein, fiber, and healthy fats. 2. Yellow skin or eyes You might look in the mirror one day and notice that your skin or the whites of your eyes have a yellowish tint. This kind of yellowing is called jaundice, and it usually means that something's going on with your liver or how your body is handling waste. Inside your body, red blood cells are constantly breaking down, one of the byproducts of that breakdown is a yellow pigment called bilirubin. Normally, your liver takes that bilirubin, processes it, and sends it out of your body through bile and waste. But if your liver isn't working right, or if there's a blockage in the system, bilirubin starts to build up in your blood. And when that level gets too high, it starts showing up in your skin and the whites of your eyes. Additionally, another major hidden cause of this yellowing is hepatitis. This is a viral infection that inflames the liver and makes it struggle to do its job. Hepatitis may come from contaminated food or water, shared needles, or even certain medications. When the liver is inflamed, it can't handle bilirubin properly, so it backs up into your system. What's tricky is that hepatitis doesn't always show symptoms early on. You might just feel tired, lose your appetite, or have dark urine. According to the National Library of Medicine, jaundice is marked by yellowing of the skin and eyes due to excess bilirubin, typically visible in the eyes. To protect your health when you notice this kind of yellowing, don't wait, get checked right away. Simple blood tests may measure bilirubin and liver enzymes to help spot the root issue. In the meantime, avoid alcohol, stay hydrated, and be mindful of medications or supplements that stress the liver. And if you're at risk for hepatitis, 
consider vaccines or regular screening. 3. Pale skin National Library of Medicine confirms that pale skin is often an early sign of anemia. The process behind this starts with red blood cells. These cells are packed with a protein called hemoglobin, which carries oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. Hemoglobin also gives blood and your skin its healthy, rosy color. But when your body doesn't have enough iron, it can't make enough hemoglobin. That condition is called iron deficiency anemia. Without enough hemoglobin, less oxygen gets delivered to your skin, leaving you looking pale, dull, or even slightly grayish. You might also feel cold all the time, short of breath after simple tasks, or have brittle nails and frequent headaches. The issue here isn't just skin deep, it's a sign that your body isn't functioning at full power. Apart from that, long-term kidney disease is another reason your skin might be pale. Your kidneys are responsible for filtering waste, but they also produce a hormone called erythropoietin, which tells your bone marrow to make red blood cells. When the kidneys start to fail, they don't make enough of this hormone. That means your red blood cell count drops, just like in anemia, but this time, it's not because of iron, it's because of a hormone imbalance. The result is less oxygen in your bloodstream and a noticeable lack of color in your skin. Many people with early-stage kidney issues don't even realize there's a problem until they start noticing symptoms like unexplained fatigue, pale skin, or swelling in the hands and feet. To protect your health when you start noticing paleness, especially if it's ongoing or combined with other symptoms, get your blood tested. Eating iron-rich foods like spinach, lentils, and lean meats helps if it's diet-related, but don't supplement blindly. Always check with your doctor first. 4. Blue or purple skin tone This condition, called cyanosis, is often your body's first visible hint that something deeper, often involving the heart or lungs, isn't functioning properly. One serious underlying cause of this change is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. This condition gradually damages the lungs and makes it harder for oxygen to pass into the bloodstream. Over time, if the lungs can't pull in enough oxygen or remove enough carbon dioxide, your body starts running low. The fingers, toes and lips are the first to reflect that drop, turning bluish or purple. It is also important to know about congenital heart defects, which are problems with the heart that are present at birth and change the way blood flows through it. In some of these conditions, like Tetralogy of Fallot or Isomenger syndrome, Blood that's low in oxygen gets pumped out to the body before it has a chance to pick up more oxygen in the lungs. That means tissues, especially in the extremities, start getting less oxygenated blood. The skin responds by shifting to a dusky, bluish color. These heart conditions are often caught in childhood, but in milder cases, symptoms may go unnoticed for years until something like chronic fatigue, fainting, or cyanosis shows up later in life. According to the National Library of Medicine, cyanosis is a bluish skin discoloration, usually seen in the hands and feet due to low blood flow or abnormal hemoglobin. It may also result from pigment deposits like silver, gold, or drugs. Often, cyanosis appears without other symptoms and varies by cause. Regular cardio checkups, lung function tests, and quitting smoking are all part of preventing or managing the root causes. 5. Easy bruising or petechia Bruising happens when small blood vessels called capillaries break and leak blood under the skin. Normally your platelets, tiny cells in your blood, rush to the site, stick together and help form a clot to stop the bleeding. But if your platelet count is low or they aren't functioning properly, that clotting process becomes weak. One serious reason for this is a condition called thrombocytopenia which means you don't have enough platelets in your blood. It may happen due to autoimmune disorders where your immune system attacks your platelets or as a side effect of certain medications and infections. What you'll see on your skin are frequent bruises, sometimes paired with nosebleeds or gum bleeding. Your body is basically showing you that its defense system for internal bleeding isn't working like it should. Apart from that, Vitamin C deficiency is another reason for bruises that you may not explain. 
While it's rare in the West, it still shows up in people with poor diets, chronic alcohol use, or certain digestive conditions that block nutrient absorption. Vitamin C is essential for collagen production, and collagen is what gives blood vessels their strength and flexibility. Without enough vitamin C, your capillaries become fragile and more prone to breaking, even from minor pressure or friction. This may cause small red or purple spots called petechia or larger bruises that seem to pop up out of nowhere. What makes this dangerous is that if it continues, it may affect wound healing, increase infections, and trigger more serious tissue damage. According to the National Library of Medicine, bleeding happens when any part of the clotting process is disrupted. Platelets stick to injured vessels and interact with von Willebrand factor and fibrinogen to form clots. Their surface then helps activate clotting proteins to make fibrin. Problems in any of these steps may lead to bleeding. You may protect your body by keeping your diet rich in vitamin C from fruits like oranges, strawberries, and bell peppers. If you're on medications like blood thinners, always stay in touch with your doctor about dosage and possible side effects. 6. Dark Patches on Skin If you've noticed darker patches of skin appearing around your neck, elbows, knees, or even your knuckles, they may be signs of internal health problems, particularly ones related to hormones and metabolism. The way this happens is tied to melanin, the pigment that gives skin its color. In some health conditions, the body overproduces melanin in certain spots due to hormonal shifts or changes in insulin levels. One of the most common reasons behind this is a condition called acanthosis nigricans. This is when the skin becomes dark, thick, and sometimes velvety in areas where it folds. It's strongly linked to insulin resistance, which happens when your body's cells stop responding to insulin properly. In response, the pancreas pumps out more insulin, and those higher levels may stimulate skin cells to grow and produce excess pigment. It's a major red flag for pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes, especially if you also have weight gain around the belly, constant fatigue, or frequent sugar cravings. These skin changes are often one of the earliest visible signs that blood sugar issues are starting to develop, even before lab work picks it up. Moreover, another health issue that may cause dark patches is Addison's disease. This is a rare condition where your adrenal glands don't produce enough cortisol, which is the hormone that helps regulate everything from blood pressure to stress. When cortisol drops, the brain releases more hormone that, by coincidence, is chemically similar to the hormone that boosts melanin. That means your skin starts to darken, even in places that haven't seen sun. People with Addison's might notice patchy hyperpigmentation around joints, lips, and even inside the mouth. It usually comes along with other symptoms like unexplained weight loss, extreme fatigue, dizziness, and low blood pressure. What's tricky is that this condition may sneak up slowly, and the skin changes are one of the few visible signs your body gives early on. According to the National Library of Medicine, Addison's disease causes skin and oral hyperpigmentation, often appearing as dark patches on sun-exposed areas, to pressure points like elbows and knees, and inside the mouth. To protect your health, if you start seeing these types of patches, the first step is to track when they appeared and whether they're spreading. In the meantime, focus on lifestyle habits that support balanced blood sugar and hormones. That means cutting back on processed carbs, prioritizing sleep, managing stress, and moving your body regularly. 7. Red palms or spider veins there's something about red palms or tiny spider-like veins on your face, chest, or hands that catches your eye, but most people shrug it off as nothing. A long-term liver disease could be the cause of these symptoms. When the liver is under stress, either from conditions like hepatitis, fatty liver, or long-term alcohol use, it starts to lose its ability to regulate hormones and filter the blood properly. Estrogen, in particular, may start to build up in the bloodstream when the liver can't break it down efficiently. High estrogen levels may cause blood vessels near the skin's surface to dilate, especially in areas like the palms and face. That's when you start seeing red, blotchy hands, known as palmar erythema, 
or those web-like blood vessels we call spider angiomas. These changes usually show up gradually, and they may become more intense as liver damage progresses. Even if you don't feel sick, these visible signs may be pointing to liver inflammation or early-stage cirrhosis that hasn't yet caused symptoms like fatigue or abdominal pain. Furthermore, changes in hormones caused by medicines like oral contraceptives are another reason that could be the cause. During pregnancy, for example, estrogen and blood volume both increase. That extra estrogen relaxes blood vessels, making them more visible and prone to dilation. The result is red palms and spider veins, especially on the face and chest. In these cases, it's not usually dangerous, and the symptoms tend to fade after hormone levels return to normal. But when these skin changes happen outside of pregnancy or without hormonal treatment, they deserve a closer look. In some people, underlying autoimmune conditions or blood vessel disorders may trigger similar symptoms. What seems like a minor cosmetic issue could actually be a sign of a hormone imbalance or vascular instability that needs medical attention. According to the National Library of Medicine, chronic liver disease may cause red palms and spider angiomas due to excess estrogen in the body. These signs result from impaired estrogen breakdown by the damaged liver. If you start seeing spider veins or red palms that don't go away, it's worth getting your liver enzymes checked. To protect your liver, reduce alcohol intake, eat a diet low in added sugars and high in antioxidants, and maintain a healthy weight. Moving on, let's discuss five powerful foods that help keep your skin healthy from the inside out. If you're like me, you've probably tried all kinds of creams and serums hoping for better skin. But glowing, resilient skin starts with what you eat. That's why I've brought five foods that you may easily add to your routine. 1. Fatty Fish Rich in omega-3 fatty acids, these fish help keep your skin soft, hydrated, and less prone to inflammation. Omega-3s also support the skin barrier, which protects you from pollutants and moisture loss. They even help reduce redness and improve conditions like psoriasis or eczema. 2. Avocados Packed with healthy fats, vitamin E, and antioxidants, avocados help your skin stay supple and smooth. The monounsaturated fats nourish skin cells while vitamin E fights free radicals, those unstable molecules that speed up aging and damage. 3. Sweet Potatoes Loaded with beta-carotene, sweet potatoes help your body produce vitamin A, which supports healthy skin cell turnover. Beta-carotene also acts as a natural sunblock from within, protecting your skin from sun-related aging and dryness. 4. Sunflower Seeds Tiny but powerful sunflower seeds are a great source of vitamin E, selenium, and zinc. All of these nutrients are key for skin repair, reducing oxidative stress, and fighting inflammation. Just a small handful a day may support skin texture and tone. 5. Green Tea Sipping on green tea regularly gives your skin a steady supply of catechins, natural antioxidants that improve blood flow and protect against UV damage. It also helps calm redness and reduce the impact of environmental stress on your skin. Your skin isn't just about how you look, it's your body's way of telling you what's going on inside. I've learned that skin problems may be way more than just surface-level issues. Sometimes, they're signs of deeper health problems that you and I might not even notice right away. If you're seeing changes in your skin that keep coming back or just don't feel right, don't ignore them. I always say, it's better to check early than to wait until things get worse. Talk to a healthcare professional to make sure nothing serious is hiding beneath the surface. Today, we learned about many things our skin says about our health. But did you know that there are other foods in your pantry that may be just as helpful? Want to find out more? Watch what happens to your body when you eat blueberries daily. Or watch 10 healthiest breakfast foods you should be eating every day. You may watch either or both of them. Do you also take your skin health into consideration? Let us know in the comments section below.